welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a look at the first game I had to play on the PlayStation 5, God of War 2018. Finally, I was able to pick up a PS5 without going to extreme measures from scalpers. The best thing that Sony had done is taking a brilliant idea from Microsoft and bringing over the backwards compatibility function from the Xbox series of consoles and brings most of the PS4 library to the PS5 with some getting an upgrade to the new console. No excuses. With the new vast power of the PS5, I really wanted to take a look at some of the games I never got to play on PS4, now improved by developers to take advantage and push the game vision they hope to have in the final game. God of War was developed by Santa Monica Studio and released by Sony Interactive Entertainment in 2018. Receiving an upgrade in late 2020 for the PS5, we now have a new mode that pushes the game resolution boost to 4K and plays at a silky smooth 60 frames per second. Taking place many years after God of War 3 in 2010, Kratos that we knew is gone and in this new story that has Kratos now in Midgard and has experienced a new family where his wife has just passed and her last wishes were to spread her ashes on the tallest peak. Kratos takes this journey with his son Atreus and ultimately is a realization bonding experience from father to son. The story is incredible and is well told with fantastic pacing, dialogue and incredible characters good and bad, that ultimately encompasses this massive journey. Although it may seem that almost anything and everything finds a way to stop the journey from moving on, it is done so well you ultimately forget what the end resolution is as you are so enthralled in the story. Many missions become eye-opening revelations between characters that open up the lore of the world and much more making the journey that much more enticing. Of course, the brand new third person action is so different and actually the same that you will still be entertained by similar huge encounters from enemies, bosses, and more that take you back to the quick time events that also made the original games so popular. The gameplay is different but familiar and at 60 frames per second, the game just feels so much more responsive. You can't believe we used to play games at a lower frame rate. The reimagining of a new world of Midgard is a spectacle to witness. The game is so large and detailed you really can't wait to see what happens next. I viewed this game on a friend's PS4 and on YouTube, but just taking this second look with backwards compatibility on the PS5 is truly a marvel. I haven't felt this huge of a difference since looking at Dragon Age Origins on the Xbox 360 and then checking out my friend's PC version of the same game at the highest settings and feeling totally ripped off. Besides the incredible vistas to explore and incredible lands you will journey to, the story and characters are also what make the game something you just can't put down. The relationship and banter between father and son is well done as you will know the characters that much more, but you pray for Kratos to finally open up and those emotional scenes can really move you like any good novel or film. I...
close your heart to it. Come then. The acting between all characters are funny, and they all have their own personalities to also keep you engaged and to want to know more about their development throughout the game. This painstaking detail the game encompasses truly is and becomes a piece of art that shows when a game is at its most complete, as this is, and of course, is worth the wait instead of rushing through it. What? You want a hug? Hit the road! Sorry. Come. It was nice meeting you, Brock. I'll be thinking of a name for your beast. How about I name her fucking gratitude? Hey, fucking gratitude, come over here. I like it. Always a pleasure. Now fuck right along. He doesn't know, does he? About your true nature? Or his own? That is none of your concern. The gods of these realms don't take kindly to outsiders, trust me. I know. When they find you, and they will, they'll make things difficult. The boy will want answers. That will be my problem. Whatever you're hiding, you cannot protect him forever. But you're right. Doesn't concern me. With so many upgraded PS4 games to look at on the PS5, makes me salivating for more if they are as complete and developed like God of War. The action, story, blood, and gore, puzzles, and character development all lead to one of the most complete games I have ever played. God of War for the PS5 gets a 9.0 out of 10 and is a must play as a second look on the PS5 and it's a preferred way to play with higher visual fidelity and super smooth 60 frames per second oh, gameplay leads to a fantastic game with incredible story and character development that should not be overlooked. That's it for me on this second upgraded look at the God of War for the PS5. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and Greg, take us out of here and I will see you all next upload. Below it. Look! It's alright. Damn. Keep, keep. Who cares? My season climbs to the who's who here. Freestyle, so free in the style. He me, lean over the yon, eight mile. Yep. Really less of a candy. Less of a dandy, school guy AA's like when it was Randy. He with the toys like a Mike in the Andy. Still got no brandy.